The year 2000, or Y2K for short, marks what many experts believe to be the first scheduled catastrophe in human history. Yes, midnight, December 31st, 1999. Electronic clocks and millions of computers will roll over to the year 2000. Or will they? We need to get about 100 pizzas. OK, well, if you like to eat the pizzas cold. No microwave, huh? Right. I mean, you know, without electricity, uh, <laughs> you can't run a microwave. Keep in mind that this will be a much greater disaster for those who are not prepared. Remember, it wasn't raining when Noah started to build the ark. September the 11th, enemies of freedom committed an act of war against our country. Our war on terror begins with Al-Qaeda, but it does not end there. It will not end until every terrorist group has been found stopped and defeated. If anybody harbors a terrorist, they're a terrorist. If they fund a terrorist, they're a terrorist. If they house terrorists, they're terrorists. Leaving Saddam Hussein in possession of weapons of mass destruction for a few more months or years is not an option. There is no doubt that Saddam Hussein now has weapons of mass destruction. troubled world, an oppressed people, liberate, remove a threat, praying, praying, protection, sacrifice, duty, honor, defend our freedom, bring freedom to others. The care that goes into it, the humanity that goes into it, uh, it is an enormously humane effort. Today, the United States government raised the national threat level from an elevated to high risk of terrorist attack, or is so more commonly known from a yellow code to an orange code. I guess you could be relaxed about all this if you didn't think there was a true threat to the country. I know there's a threat to the country. It is in our national interest, and it's legal. It's because we want to know who's calling who. There are individuals in the United States who seek to carry out acts of terrorism and violence against our communities and our country. If you see something, say something. No more illegal wiretapping of American citizens. No more national security letters to spy on citizens who are not suspected of a crime. No more ignoring the law when it is inconvenient. Because when I'm president, meetings where laws are written will be more open to the public, no more secrecy. That's a commitment I make to you as president.